Oh, hi everyone. I thought I'd just do a quick video to show how I take the um, wicks out of the candles that are done. Um, I, usually I used to put them the candle in the freezer when it was done and then uh, just uh, for maybe half an hour, an hour, then I'd chunk it up with a butter knife and then I'd use the rest of the wax for tarts. Um, but sometimes the wicks still wouldn't come out even though I put them in the freezer and that. Um, and some people do like to reuse their uh, candle jars, uh, repurpose them for other things. Um, so this, I'm going to show you how I do it now and the wicks come out very, very easily and you don't have to worry about fighting to, to remove them. So this one, I still have a few hours in it, but I'm just going to, um, I'm just going to make some tarts with the remaining wax. Um, so what I do is I take a, a folded paper towel. Uh, I take these tongs, which you can buy at the um, just the dollar store. Um, I use this to dip my cotton balls in also uh, when I got drowning wick syndrome. I use this to hang on to my cotton balls. So uh, first thing I do is just blow out the candle. <laughs> get my paper towel ready and then I just grasp the wicks with the tong and you probably can't see it but the the glue is kind of sticking on to there let the excess wax kind of drip off and they come out very easily. Now if you, um, the kind of the secret is to make sure the wax is fully liquefied and that helps loosen up the um, glue on the bottom. And then I just uh, throw this in the, once it's cooled off, I throw this in the freezer for about half an hour, an hour and the wax pops out very, very easily. with no problem. So uh, I hope that um, helps people out who are uh, kind of fighting to get their wicks out of the bottom of the jars. Uh, just make sure it's liquefied right to the bottom there and it'll be nice and hot and the wicks come out uh, no problem and then this wax can pop out once it's cooled off in the freezer for a bit and um, your jar will be ready to go and I hope that's helpful. See you later.